Let's take a look at a definition here, which really is going to profoundly impact the rest of the course. It seems like a strange little thing at first, doesn't seem that important, but as we study the ramifications of this, they are absolutely huge. It leads to all sorts of different ideas and different concepts that are really essential to abstract algebra. So we're looking at a subgroup of a group G, and we're going to call it a normal subgroup if for any element of G, the left cosets and the right coset are the same thing. And then we'll use the notation H sort of triangle G. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. So let's start with the group G is Z6, and the subgroup H is equal to the set 0, 3. So then, if we look at the subgroup, or the coset, 0 plus H, the set 0, 3, which is just H, or H plus 0. If we look at 1 plus h, we get the set 1 comma 4, which is the same thing as h plus 1. Similarly, 2 plus h is 2, 5 is h plus 2. Now, and then really this is the same thing as both 3 plus h and h plus 3. This is the same as 4 plus h and h plus 4. This is the same as 5 plus h and h plus 5. Now, this is certainly a normal subgroup. Every one of my left cosets is equal to my right coset. But that shouldn't be too surprising because this is an abelian group. Because Z6 is abelian, of course, adding on the left and adding on the right is the same thing. So, while this is an example of a normal subgroup, it doesn't get the interesting part of what the subgroup is. So let's take a look at a more interesting example. Let's say my group is S3. And if we remember, that means we've got the identity We've got 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2. And we've got some transpositions, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 3. Let's go ahead and let's call H equal to the subgroup that has the identity 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2. So, I want to show that each left coset's the same as the right cosets. I'm not going to bother doing it for EH equaling HE, 1, 2, 3, H equaling H, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 3, 2, H equaling H, 1, 3, 2. The reason I feel I don't need to go and do those examples is that actually all three of those groups are the same thing because we know that any time you take a subgroup and multiply by one of the elements on the inside, that coset is the subgroup itself. So all these things are just equal to H. Obviously the left and right cosets are the same. The interesting ones is when I start doing the transposition together with H. I want to be really careful here. So if I do 1, 2, H, that's going to give me the set containing 1, 2, E, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 
one three two. So one two e is obviously one two. If I do one two times one two three, one goes to two, two goes to one, so one is going to end up being fixed. Two goes to three. 3 goes to 1, which goes to 2, so I'm left with 2, 3. Over here, 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2, which goes to 1, 2 goes to 1, which goes to 2, so 2 is fixed. On the other hand, if I do H1, 2, I get e times 1, 2, I get 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2, and I get 1, 3, 2 times 1, 2. Okay, e times 1, 2 is still just 1, 2. Here, 1 goes to 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, so that's just that, 2 goes to 1 goes to 2. Now. What's interesting here is that 1, 2 times 1, 2, 3 was 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 times 1, 2 is 1, 3. So we're not getting a commutivity thing. It's not that the, we've got a commutative subgroup. But if we continue, finish this up, 1 goes to 2 goes to 1. 2 goes to 1 goes to 3. 3 goes to 2. Even though the individual elements don't commute, we still end up getting the same three, whether I'm looking at the left coset or the right coset. So it's like if 1, 2 times some h has to equal some h prime times 1, 2. It doesn't have to be the same thing to give me the same element, as long as something in the subgroup gives me that element. Finally, let's take a look at something that's not a normal subgroup. So let's still stick with g equals s3. We need something non-abelian, so that's a good example. And let's say that h is just the set with the identity and 1, 2. So, if I look at, say, 1, 2, 3, h, I get 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So that's 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, we actually are just computed right there as being 1, 3. On the other hand, if I do h, 1, 2, 3, look at the right coset, I get 1, 2, 3 times the identity, I get 1, 2 times 1, 2, 3, and we did 1, 2 times 1, 2, 3 there gives me 2, 3. So there we go. The left coset and the right coset are not the same Therefore, this H is not a normal subgroup.